Hi, I'm Brian L. Christian, and I'm a photographer. Before I got into photography, I studied marketing in college and I was looking for a job in sales. Um, I worked at Holiday Inn Worldwide for about, I think, four or five years in sales and marketing. And um, after that, got laid off and went to MCI, you know what happened to that and so forth and so on. But uh, in the midst of all that, I decided to pick up a camera. Well, you know, it's interesting because I don't know, I was, uh, I used to work on the 20th floor and I used to like look outside the windows and whatnot and I would see these beautiful, uh, they said they were falcons or hawks that would fly around and all that sort of thing. And for whatever reason, I just didn't want a regular camera. So uh, I went and bought a, a 35 millimeter and I would start practicing with it and taking pictures and I would go to events and start taking pictures with that. And I was getting a lot of compliments on uh, those pictures. Actually, one of my favorite stories behind that was um, we went to South Carolina to see my mother's friend who's an artist and they were doing a reenactment of the uh, the black soldiers, the Buffalo soldiers and I took pictures of those and the lady liked them so much she actually made paintings from the pictures that I took. At that point I thought I was on to something and I decided to go to uh, art school, to a uh, photography school with the Creative Circus. Do you think in photography a person can be can learn photography or is it like an art? You, you have to have an innate ability. Um, I would naturally say that you people want to be photographers because they're fascinated by it. But if you really get into it, you'll develop yourself as an artist. It's, a, it's definitely a different art form. You're not just a person taking pictures. You have a concept of what you want to do. You have an vision, you have an appreciation for what you're uh, visualizing and what you're shooting. So uh, I think you might want to start, most people say, well, I want to be a photographer. I say, okay. But your dedication in, in terms of uh, what you're trying to do will eventually develop into your artistry. The very first camera I picked up was a Canon Rebel S. And the interesting thing about it was, to be honest with you, uh, I wasn't sure I wanted to be a photographer, so I wasn't trying to buy the most expensive thing out there, but I didn't want anything relatively cheap. And uh, I got the homeboy hookup, you know what I mean? It was like, uh, you know, it was, a nice, it was a nice camera, but the guy was on sale, and I was talking to the guy at Wolf Camera, and he gave me his discount too. So I had my Canon Rebel S, and I had my mother's tripod, and you know, walked into art school with all these other cats who had all these EOS cameras and Bogan tripods and stuff I never heard of and you know kind of shaking in my boots a little bit but uh, once we got started you know I was uh, something to contend with as far as class was concerned. Uh, well right now I consider myself a portraitist. It's just hands down a lot of people come to me about uh, come to me for taking portraits and uh, it's my way of doing it so it's uh, headshots, actors headshots, it's corporate shots uh, family portraits. Uh, some people just want a nice quality picture of themselves. And I love that because they want something to make themselves feel good about themselves and that's what they come to me for. Oh man, don't make me choose between my babies. Um, right now I'm gonna say my 85 Sigma 1.4. Uh, I was convinced uh, by a friend of mine, I was looking at the uh, 85 1.2 
And she was like, Brian, you know, do the comparison. And I just fell in love with that lens. I can remember when Sigma was okay back in the day, but they have really come up. But that by far is uh, my number one, my number one stunner uh, in terms of my lens is uh, the, the accuracy, the sharpness, the quality is, is just unbelievable. And that's saying a lot because I'm a Canon person and all my lenses are Canons except the Sigma. Now I have, a, I have a client coming up on Saturday. Once we shoot their daughter, multiple for multiple reasons. She's in her teens, she wants senior pictures, she wants damn pictures, so forth and so on. So I was fortunate enough to get a picture of her daughter, be very beautiful young lady. And then at that point I was like, okay, how do we want to show her up on camera? What do we want to say about her? You know, and I'm looking at her images, be it their selfies or or pictures she's already taken. So it's all about doing the research. That's actually the fun part. You know what I mean? I could go on Pinterest, I can go get some magazines. I got a ton of magazines. And then sometime, you know, if and when I have time for the client, I lay out my vision to them and say, okay, this is what I what I want to do. And, and and the reason it's not tough because when they get excited about your vision in terms of what you want to do for them. It's not, nothing tough about it, it's fun. You know, I think the other thing too is, you know, learn something about the person you're talking to. My mentor was a guy named Daryl Lane, and I was always in awe of him, not because, uh, not just because of his photography, but the way he controlled his studio. Now, what made Daryl interesting to me was what he said, what he, do, what he did, how he commanded it, was what he backed up. Wow, All right, let's see. <laughs> Let's go down the list here. Um, I believe one thing is they take on a lot more than what they know about. You know, can you shoot this? Yes. No, you can't really shoot that because you don't know how to do it. Uh, and I'm not being mean when I say this, but you're asking me a question and I'm telling you what I see. Uh, not being prepared, not being professional, uh, taking on jobs for the sake of thinking you could take, like perfect example, weddings. You know, people, they're trying to make the money when they're not really making the money. They think they're getting something to a client for $300, it probably should be about $1,500. And in some cases, they're giving them about $50 worth of quality wedding. I see that a lot. Um, the main thing is pricing which just basically kills the industry. You know, I believe whatever you charge should believe should match the quality of the work that you're, you're shooting. Whew, that's a good question. What would I tell Brian back then that I know now? Um, I think, you know, to be perfectly honest with you, some of it was a lot of fear, you know, uh, working, so I already working and taking pictures. So, you know, you had that, that, that concept of already going to work and you had a check. You know, you weren't, you weren't, I wasn't striving as hard as I, I could have in terms of my photography. Uh, I wasn't getting out as much as I could have. Uh, I wasn't believing in myself as much as I could have. You know, um, I was seeing people do stuff that's going right by me. And I was like, I can do that too. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? You know, but fortunately for me, two things happened. Uh, my work started getting way better. I started getting uh, a lot more people who knew me. But most importantly, the thing that I love right now is I have to literally say, honestly say that 80% of my business right now is referrals. So when you look down at your cell phone, you see a phone number that you don't recognize. It's something to be excited about but it's even more so to be excited about when it's a referral from someone else. There's nothing in the world to me that beats that. That means that you made that client feel so good about themselves and that their images, that they want to run out and tell everybody else about you. They want to sell you without you saying a word other than through your images. They said, hey, you need to go check out this, this, this photographer, Brian Christian. He's awesome to shoot with and he does great work. So imagine getting those phone calls when the first thing you hear is, I was referred to you by, I heard you from, 
or so-and-so said to call you. You can't really beat that. You know, you know it's so funny, they had the camera was 13 without the hood, it was like 15 with the hood. So I go look up and find out how much the hood is by itself, it was $33. I was like, no, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this 13. Isn't that crazy?